Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we're coming back at you with another Ratchet video. Something a little bit offbeat, uh, maybe a little rare, I'm not too sure. It's a Bonnie Ratchet. It's a round head and this one happens to be the Bonnie A701. It's a half inch drive ratchet. And this one seems to be alright, not too bad a shape. Uh, missing some chrome in certain spots. There's a little bit of pitting. You see the, here the handle. There's some pitting on the bottom. The handle is smooth for some reason. It's a, it's a good size handle. It's pretty big. But uh, not too sure if it got wet or greasy. If you have a good grip on this. Uh, before we jump into this some more if you guys find these type of videos interesting or helpful could you give me a like and also subscribe to this channel I don't know as you know or you may not know I have uh, like a goal for around New Year's to have close to 500 subscribers and I know it's an ambitious goal but it's my goal so if you guys can help me out that would be great okay getting back to this Bonnie nice shape uh, I like the ergonomics of this uh, ratchet it's uh, round head then it tapers down to a nice waist here and then a good chunky handle but like I said smooth handle doesn't have uh, might not have a lot of grip in case it gets oily or whatever and I'm not sure when this came out maybe in the 50s I would say it says Bonnie and USA and to take this apart it has the same uh, ring a la SK here I took it apart already just to save like a minute it's kind of tight the ring sticks to the sides and you need like a pick to pry it from the side a little bit so you can get your your needle nose in there and take the ring off okay once we take the ring off we slide out the mechanism and before we get into that let's look at the broaching excellent broaching on this Bonnie uh, very nice uh, 46 teeth I think on this ratchet but all the way through the broaching is very nice the teeth are intact a uh, pretty thick thick row of teeth which is good and here's the trench for the ring around here and on the other side there's a deep well pretty deep trench on this side the switch side there so when they broach this they, they cut a deep well on this side which I don't see that often but all in all very nice job and if we look at the mechanism it's not your usual mechanism it's a sliding pawl two sliding pawls as a matter of fact and there are two teeth per side on the pawl and they slide back and forth like that and this pawl also slides back and forth this reminds me of uh, the Walden design. Walden had a, a mechanism like this where they had a, a sliding a sliding pole, two sliding poles that uh, slide opposite of each other. I like this mechanism. Uh, I like this, this style of uh, uh, mechanism. It's, it looks like a, a, a good, strong 
style of engagement. Uh, I don't know why a lot of a lot of companies never uh, never went to something like this. Walden is the only one off the top of my head that I can think of. Maybe maybe another one. What was? I'm not sure, but Walden is the only one that comes to mind for this type of mechanism. And a warning here before we jump into this any further. If you can avoid taking this apart, don't take it apart. It's a major pain to take apart and uh, you might get frustrated. And, uh, you know, let me, let me just warn you so you won't blame me if uh, you can't get this back together. Okay, you have the two sliding poles there. So what you want to do is get, I got this sharpened screwdriver. You want to get the screwdriver inside the gap on one of these. You don't want to, you don't want this post where it slides back and forth. Not this post. You want the post that's where it slides on here where the bottom slides on both bottoms of the poles that's where there's there are two balls on either side of that and those are the balls that hold this mechanism together and it could be a pain in the ass to get in there and I try to wedge it like that a little bit and then I take another screwdriver, a thin one, and I wedge it there. That's one side. And I try to get it in. I don't try to open it all the way, but I try to get it in somewhat. And then over here, you got your screwdriver there. I try to open it a little bit. Let's see if I can get more space. My goal is to get on the top opposite the other screwdriver like that and then uh, open it. But remember you got the ball and it's spring loaded and it wants to shoot out so and there it came out. That's one of the balls and the balls are pretty small so uh, just a word of warning and here is the mechanism inside okay you have the two poles you have the two poles that ride on a spring And here is the spring that goes between, that goes inside the hole of the poles. And here are your poles. Like I said, there are two, there are two teeth per side. But as you notice, one tooth is longer and one is shorter here. And the hole is closer to the edge on top here. On the bottom one is the opposite. The hole is closer to the edge here and then that tooth there is long. And this one here is more squared off. So this is how you want to put it back together like that with those two long teeth opposing each other but you want the holes to match up you see the holes on top there and the holes on top there like like so yeah I told you it's pretty complicated <laughs> and you want like I said you put the spring in between in the holes and here's the ball is one of the balls. It's pretty small. 
and that helps keep the mechanism together and thankfully this ball is captured at the bottoms because the hole isn't uh, open the whole way so and there's the spring that's between the two balls it's a pretty strong spring as you can see there it's it's short but thick and then the ball the other ball comes out here's your switch with the holes there's the hole for the spring in between the poles here are the holes for the balls and the spring in between oh boy <sighs> hold on okay here's the switch again it's pretty heavy it's a pretty heavy piece of metal not sure what it's made of but let me see if it's magnetic uh, yeah it's magnetic so it must be steel or something and here's the housing you can take a look and see it, they cut some rails into the side here where the poles ride and they cut more rails down here this is where the poles slide back and forth and here are little indents this is where the balls uh, catch when you switch there's a couple of indents here and then no indents here for that ball so the switch kind of catches here when you switch it back and forth for whatever side you want and so that's uh that's how that looks looks like a pretty decent job they did pretty good on this ratchet Here's the ball detent, looks pretty nice, well centered, and there's your anvil, it's a little worse for wear, a little pitting, loss of chrome, but all in all, pretty nice. Okay, here's the fun part, is getting this back together. Okay, so you take your switch. You take one of the balls and you put it in the hole that's wider and let it slide down to the narrow hole so where it won't escape. You take your spring, you drop that in the hole there. All right, now you take your poles. Thankfully, in this design, you can only put this together in one way. Your pole the hole underneath the pole has to match the hole that's uh, in the switch so you see there's a gap there on the bottom and there's a hole more towards the top that one goes like that and also the one the bottom one the hole it's going towards the top like that it matches the hole in the switch that's going towards the top also there's a there's a gap down there in in the switch hole all right so now you take your spring that goes in between both poles and you set them like that now you take 
I like to put the ball to stationary that can't come out. I like to use that as the ball that switches. So I put that against there like that. And you have your two poles and you get them in the slots of the housing here like this. And You try to get it as close to possible as you can without closing all the way because you have to put the ball, the last ball that keeps it all together, you have to put that on top of the spring. There. And and this this could be difficult because now you have to mash oops you have to mash down see get the ball on the hole there now you have to mash down the ball and press it at the same time so you mash down that ball and then you press and there you go and then you see if it's ratcheting. Yep, it's ratcheting. Now you take your mechanism and you drop it. You might want to hold the poles down a little bit. And you drop it inside the head. And you see if it's switching. Yep, it's switching. And you take your ring you get it in the groove there you get your pliers actually I might need a wider set of pliers oops get it in the groove and There we go. Make sure it's secure, and there you have your functioning ratchet again. If you're brave enough to uh, <laughs> attempt to take this apart, but uh, all in all, it's it's a beast of a ratchet. It's uh, has that double pole mechanism that's very nice, very strong. So you know you can't can't really fault this ratchet for not being strong uh, has great broaching nice nice overall pretty much uh, in my in my estimation this is kind of a a classic tank of a of a ratchet uh, alright guys so that's all I got for today until next time